Dr. Robert Wood at Johns Hopkins Children's Center led a study showing the drug Zolaire can prevent severe allergic reactions. The injectable drug works by blocking immune system antibodies. So if you have biases that are affecting your decisions, if um, healthcare systems would just provide physicians, obstetricians with decision support tools that sort of make sure that they ask certain questions. Today we have the great good fortune of dedicating a new building, a magisterial new building in the heart, truly the heart of our nation's capital. At the core of our strategy is re-engaging, revitalizing, reimagining our greatest strategic asset, America's alliances and partnerships. I think that we have a lot of agency for how we build this technology and how we deploy it in the world. After a cargo ship took out the key bridge, it wasn't long before Johns Hopkins engineering professor Michael Shields and his colleagues started crunching numbers. What do you think the actual probability of an event like this happening was? And came to the conclusion that it was probably a higher probability event than we would hope for. Boosting the immune system with those booster doses will actually become very helpful in maintaining that resistance and antibody levels so we can try to reduce the spread of those new variants. Carrying out a real-world test will inform scientists whether this type of planetary defense is a reliable option against future asteroids headed towards Earth. We don't want to add to people's anxieties. We want to demonstrate that we can handle asteroid deflection. It's hard to escape the uncomfortable sounds of yard work. So by hearing a lower, more pleasant frequency, that would be a much more pleasant experience than hearing that high-pitched whistling noise. One billion dollars, a financial aid gift from Bloomberg Philanthropies. Starting this fall, most medical students will attend Johns Hopkins tuition free. In fact, it's our connections to others, to important causes that we believe in, to our voluntary commitments to others that truly bring meaning and satisfaction to our lives. The Institute represents an opportunity to take all of the research that is conducted at the Johns Hopkins School of Nursing and to translate that into policy recommendations and strategies for elected officials and key decision makers. 